this. We're bored in the house and I'm in the house bored, so. It's your girl Jay and today I am here with the stay at home book tag because as I'm sure everybody knows we are all in supposed to be in self-isolation and or quarantine because of the whole thing that's going on in our world today. I'm going a little bit stir crazy because I've been in self-isolation for three weeks now and haven't been outside so we're fine it's fine but this is a tag originally created by Madison Mary. I was not tagged by anybody but I'm gonna film it anyways because I have an obsession with Madison Mary. I just think she is just a wonderful, beautiful human being. So I'll leave her link down below and the link to the video if you guys wanna check it out. But there's a bunch of prompts that we gotta get answering. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first prompt is Laying in Bed and it is supposed to be a book that you could have read in one sitting. My book that I could have read in one sitting is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I actually did read this in one sitting and or like I took an hour or two in between to go get food or something. But I read it real super duper fast and I loved this book. I gave it five out of five stars. I think that it's a super underrated book if you have not read it already, please read it because it's a hella good time. But it follows a 17 year old named Casey. Cassie? Not sure if it's Casey or Cassie. I think it's Cassie because her name is Cassandra so that would make sense. But she is a natural profiler which means that she has the ability to look at somebody and then tell what they're going to want to do next. She is brought into the FBI program called The Naturals which consists of four other teenagers who have similar natural abilities to Cassie and it's like them trying to solve cold cases and it's just like a lot of fun. It's very addictive like you don't want to put the book down. It's just full of so many twists and turns that like are totally unrealistic. They never happen in real life but it's just a lot of fun so I highly suggest you read it. The next prompt is snacking and I have been doing a lot of this. We're bored in the house and I'm in the house bored so that's what we do, we snack. But this prompt is a guilty pleasure read and I feel like this is a lot of people on booktube's guilty pleasure read but it is The Selection by Kira Cass. I love these books just because they're so easy to get stuck in. You don't have to think at all while reading them. It's just like a grand old good time so guilty pleasure. The next prompt is Netflix. I've also been doing a lot of this. I also recently got the Shudder app which is basically horror Netflix and it is fabulous but this prompt is to say a series that you want to start. My April TBR is literally all just first books in a series. If you guys are new to this channel you don't know this but my mom picks my TBR and she always has some like fun little theme to go along with it. This month's theme is get on the damn bandwagon already so it's all just a lot of first books in a series so I'm not gonna say any of those books but they all do qualify but if you want to know what series I do want to start then go on over to my April TBR but I picked a different one for the challenge and it is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi and I have had this on my shelf for like since it came out which was a long time ago I will admit and I have not read it yet obviously since I'm holding it up but the second book came out recently I'm pretty sure the third one is coming out sometime soon I think I don't know I'm not very good at following the news of book releases I just get excited when they do come out and then I'm like oh I didn't know that was happening but here we are so I've heard really good things about this series so I definitely want to check it out and like hopefully by the time I actually get around to this the third book will be out so then I can just binge the whole series even though I don't even own the second book but that's besides the point moving on. Next is Deep Clean and this is a book that has been on your TBR for a really long time. Honestly that's like every single book in my collection because I have a problem and I buy a lot of books and then they sit on my shelves for like six years. Anyways, I'm picking Wonder. This is by RJ Palicio and I'm choosing this because I recently watched the movie on Netflix and I really really liked it. So I want to see how the book compares to the movie because we're curious. Next is Animal Crossing and this is a book that you recently bought due to hype and I don't buy 
newly released books because I'm a broke ass bitch so I go to the thrift store so all of the titles that are there are like a couple years old so I'm cheating a little bit and using a book that I was gifted by Molly from Magical Molly so hi Molly I love you thank you so much um I'll leave her link down below as well she's great but it is Red White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston and I actually read this loved it five out of five stars is a lot of fun everybody knows what it's about so I'm not gonna tell you but if you haven't read it already highly suggested because it's a grand old time like I already said next prompt is productivity and this is a book that you learned something from or had an impact on you and is about to get real deep in this house right now bad romance by Heather Demetrio I read this a couple years ago right after I had a breakup with a guy. It was a very toxic relationship. My dumbass was like oh it's so healthy we love him it's a great time read this book and I was like oh that's my relationship. So it was very eye-opening to realize that, you know, when you're in the relationship, you don't realize how toxic things are because you're just in love with that person. So learned something. Now we know our standards. We have the bar set. We're not going to go below the standards. We might because that's how we exist on this channel, but We'll pretend that we don't. Next is FaceTime and this is a book that you were gifted and like I said I could have used Red, White, and Royal Blue for that from Molly but I'm gonna actually choose one from Madison Mary because she created this tag so that's exciting. Um, I chose Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha Nagan. This is the second book in the Girls of Paper and Fire series. Madison gave me this for my birthday so thank you Madison, love you. And I have still not read it but I loved the first book, gave it 5 out of 5 stars so I'm hoping that this is also a 5 out of 5 stars read for me, but never know until we actually pick up the book. Next is self-care, and it is supposed to be one thing that you've done recently for self-care, you know, for yourself. Um, <laughs> I'm not very good at self-care, so um, I washed my hair today, so that's exciting. And then bonus is to name a book that is coming out soon and I'm going with the fourth book in the Ember and the Ashes series. I recently read the whole series, the three books that are already out, and I freaking loved them. I have no idea what the fourth book is called. All I know is that it's purple and you know your girl loves purple so I'm very excited for it. I also just like loved that series so I'm really excited to see where the characters go from where they are. I'm really hoping Elias is back. If you've read the series, you know what I'm talking about, but I'm really excited, so that's my All right, everybody, so that was the stay at home book tag. Seriously, guys, stay at home, save the planet, save the people, you know? It's important. Um, I tag everybody who's watching this video to do the tag because it's actually a lot of fun and it's a good distraction. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!